Now, Jocelyn, we've had you at this table before, and we're excited to have you back this yes. week again. We've gotten to know yes. you uh, really well, and we love having you here. But a lot of people know you from Love & Hip Hop, and um, we know that there's more to you than that. There's so much more to you than that. And we want you to share your story. You know, like, I know that you grew up in Puerto Rico. I did, girl. I and did grow yes. up in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. But I'm curious as to what was your childhood like growing up in Puerto Rico? You know, it was, it was pretty cool. Because, of course, Puerto Rico is beautiful. Yeah. But, you know, I could just tell you one story. Like, you know, I, was, I went outside, and, you know, we love to go outside without any shoes. You know, Puerto Ricans. Yeah. <laughs> and we live, like, by the beach. So yeah. everything is just, like, whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. So I was running, but we lived in the projects. Yeah. You know, we lived in the projects, the Which real projects. Caserio, right? Yeah, Caserio. We lived in the Caserio. So I remember one day I was running to go meet my hunger. I was, like, a little kid. Um, ran... And I got a needle stuck on my foot. The needle got stuck on my foot. I ran upstairs. My mama took it out. She sat me on the washing machine. She took it off. And she gave me a kiss. I went right on. It was by a my hypodermic business. needle? Girl, it was a drug needle. <gasps> yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, that. Girl, do you know you can't use these big words with the Puerto Rican <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. This is for the yeah, viewers. So it not yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was, a, it was a drug needle. It, it was a... Um, it was a heroin needle. You know, wow. in the Casadillos, that's in Puerto Rico. That's like back in the 80s. I was born in the 80s. I'm... I'm 30 now, I just turned 30, so in the 80s. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, it was just a drug-infested place, and that's just what it was. But we lived through it, we fought it, we passed through it, and we just keep moving. Like, you it's got not the a big needle, deal. How did you feel? Was you scared? What happened? How did she explain to you what that was? Well, I knew what it was because my dad died of a heroin overdose. So, I, you know, I knew that, you know... The whole hood was on heroin. Yeah. Do you mind me asking if you were close with your father, or how old were you when your father passed? Well, we was, we was me and my brother. We on the only two that had the same father. He okay. passed when we was uh, 13 years old. And you know, my mom is like, she come home one day and tells me and my brother. At the time, I was 13. My brother was uh, 15, mm -hmm. and my oldest brother. And my mom is like, you know, your daddy died. We was like, what, girl? <laughs> but we only seen him a few times, so. We can only give, she can only give us what he gave her mm -hmm, and right. what he gave us. So she's just like, your daddy died. You don't know him anyways. I'm just giving you the news. Ooh, got it. So when you got to the States, what was it like for you then? Here, yeah. Well, you know, I was six, so I didn't speak any English. Yeah. I was all, that, I still don't speak any English, you know, but. <laughs> <laughs> I understand you. So I had a pretty good time uh, growing up in, um in Fort Lauderdale when I was, like, in, you know, kindergarten and then uh, middle school and then went into high school, which I dropped out of high school. I went to middle school. Started doing hair. Dropped out of that, too. I, I just, I'm just a dropout. <laughs> I'm like Kanye. No, okay. you're not. I'm like Kanye. So I dropped out again. And so, look, we was cute, right? We was, like, we was so cute. We was just, like, fly young girls. We got involved in a strip club. We was just, like, we young, we pretty. Guys want to give us money. You know, I've been to Africa, been to... Uh, I, Canada, a lot of places. I mean, at 17, 18, 19 years old, you know, and I made two, three thousand dollars in one night mm. when a I was like 18 years that. old. People are like, well, why would a young girl? And I get, I get the moral question of it, but people are like, well, how are these girls making money? They're making two and three thousand dollars a night. Yeah. yeah. So as you were dancing, you met Stevie. Jack. Well, I always wanted to do music. I always wanted to be like Selena. Yeah. So I'm, I'm in the club looking for a producer. <laughs> yup. Uh, yup. So I'm like, oh. You know, one of my other homies was like, you know, that's Stevie J. My baby daddy got seven Grammys. So I'm like, he's the man to go to. Uh, right? Anyway, so make a long story short, it was more, we really fell in love with each other. Like, it was love at first sight. It was mm, love at first sight. Wow. And now we have a baby seven years later. Wow. Seven years wow. later. Wow. Wow. Seven years later. So y'all still together? <laughs> I told you, you got to watch Love and Hip Hop. Oh, y'all yeah. feel together. I'm looking at you. You know, uh -huh. when I first got in the business, it's like, oh, she doesn't make music. Oh, she's not an actress. But uh, I'm not an actress. I take acting classes, and I'm on Fox doing an acting show. Hey. You know? And, oh, not to mention, they said I was a man, but I just popped out a kid. To uh, you know, I don't know where they got that one from. But <laughs> I went through always going to have something no. to say. Exactly. Yeah.